Well, here we go with step one. Today is, uh, as you can see, August the 15th of 2007. And we now have a 20 inch sharp TV set on the left hand side of my dresser. The right hand side is empty waiting for this to be mounted on it. <laughs> here it is, the Samsung that I bought. And I actually got this from Fry's out on the West Coast, as I may have said earlier. There we go. That's the model number. This is the box sitting in its place of honor in my video room. And we are going to open this box up, at least as far as I can go, on camera. Something I have not done in many, many years. Okay, here we go. And by the way, this is what's being replaced. My old trusty Sony 27-inch XBR Trinitron monitor that served me very well for many, many, many years. Now being replaced by state-of-the-art <laughs> Samsung. <laughs> I can't believe I'm buying a Samsung, but I did. TV. Okay, let's uh, get the knife ready to go and start opening up this package. Okay, I don't know how far I can get with this one-handed, but uh, I'm going to do what I can. Good knife. Oh, man. Okay, that's one. There's the other. I feel like I'm opening my second Betamax. I put that on, on tape two back in 1978, I think. It's a very strange box for a TV as far as shape, but again, this is not exactly a TV like this. Oh, my heart's pounding. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have here. There it is. Oh, I'm glad they gave me a cover. I intend to use this dust cover on this thing when it's not in use. Let's see. Top left. Okay. Funny, you always see the TV sets on the... Oh boy, that sucker's big. In the showroom, but you never see the boxes. All right, let me pull this sucker out of here and see how far we can get. Here we go. Well, the good thing is, I think it's already mounted on the stand because it's sitting upright on its own. Okay, should we do the unveiling? I think this is facing front. Here's the unveiling of my new Samsung. <laughs> anyway, here we go. The unveiling of my Sony 40-inch LCD high-definition TV. Oh my god, look at that thing. Here it comes, and there it is. Yeah! Absolutely beautiful. And that is just going to fit on this dresser. I actually had to move the 20 inch sharp over a couple of inches to accommodate this thing. Alright, <laughs> this is perfect size for this room. Not too big and not too small. Let's put this thing up where it belongs and get her fired up. I have to, of course, do this in my own inimitable, dramatic way. <laughs> Here it is, gang. Mounted on my dresser in this place of honor. It'll probably be till I die, considering I'm turning 60 in three days. There it is. My 40-inch Samsung. Not even hooked up yet, not even plugged in yet. But I had to show it on the dresser seconds after it was unpacked. There's a thin strip of plastic here which I began to pull off and it was mounted on the stand and yes this does swivel so next thing I'll do is get this fired up or something and show you how it looks okay this has been going for about 15 minutes I'm adding the cable channels and right now it says it's removing the scramble channels which is kind of interesting so uh, you're getting the channel set up going first and then, of course, I will check out some digital cable, some HD channels, and a DVD. Thanks to well, we had to start out with good old Channel 8, WJW in Cleveland. This is their widescreen, high-definition news, which looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, if I put on the info, you can see exactly what this is being broadcast in. 720, 16 by 9. There we go. And we've got a little impulse going by. But this is digital. I know the quality of YouTube 
is going to kill this. And you're going to see it all blocks and pixelized in a flash format. But uh, trust me, this looks gorgeous. And by the way, there are different picture modes here. This is the standard mode. This is dynamic, which brightens it up and adds a lot of contrast. Here's standard. Here's movie mode, which actually makes it dimmer. And here's dynamic. You can see it just got really bright. I'm actually going to keep it on standard. Okay, so there's some live TV in HD. And we're only watching uh, 720. It's interesting, when I change it to um, the next channel down, oh, this is also 720. Oh, here's channel 5, Lee Jordan, a Cleveland stalwart in HD. And this picture is phenomenal. And yes, I have the closed captioning on because I like it. Now let's go up a channel. Back to channel 8, and now we're going to 1080, but it's not filling the screen. This is very interesting. Can't figure this one out. It says 1080, but we're not filling the screen. Not sure what channel this is. I'm still scanning the channel, just kind of going up to see what we're getting. Another 1080, but 80, but it's not filling the screen, unless I use the... Uh, the zoom feature, which does fill it now, but I think it's stretched. This is very strange. Maybe I have to do something in the setup. Don't know. Anyway, let's try playing a DVD and see what happens. And here we go. The first movie to be played on my new set. Favorite movie. Set set up. Working great. See you later. Bye bye.